Hey traders, this is John Howell here from TradingInvestingForYou.com In this video, I'm going to be sharing a, a tip with you. It's actually a technique uh, that I learned off one of my mentors a long, long, long time ago. And with this uh, tip and with this um, tool, this way of viewing the markets, it's going to help you, one, it's going to help you uh, use the market in a better way of use, um, finding better entry levels. But it's also going to help you stay out of bad trades as well too. Now I'm not going to, I'm not saying that you're going to eliminate all the all the losing trades because there's no such thing as a hundred percent profitable success rate. Okay, we all know that some of the, some of the best some of the best traders actually have less than a fifty percent success rate. But if we actually, uh, yeah, but what I'm going to be sharing with you is actually going to help you define and actually some, eliminate some of those bad trades that you shouldn't be in, and actually going to help you when it comes to uh, finding really, really good entry levels. Okay, so that's my that's my promise for this video today. Now, obviously, what, b before I go through this, um, I, I don't know your personal situation, so this is not personal advice. Okay, the market is risky, and so therefore you should understand the risk before taking any investments. And what I'm doing here is I'm educating you so you can make better informed decisions when you're making when you're trading. Okay, so uh, obviously I'm licensed, um, but um, once again I'm just educating you so you can make better informed decisions in the market itself. So let's actually go and have a look at uh, this overall. Now what we're looking at over here, look at this. We're looking at. Um, we're looking at Apple right now, okay? And most people when they're trading Apple, they might look at a daily chart or they might look at a 60-minute chart, you know, and they don't, that's, 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 that, that's what they normally do. They might spend, they normally look at daily charts and then they spend the rest of the time looking at maybe 15-minute charts, even down to a 5-minute chart, which is just really, really small time frames. But one thing that I learned from my mentors a long, long time ago is they said, John, if you want to, if, if you want to be trading really good, high-quality setups in the markets, doesn't matter what stock you're looking at, always be going to the longer term time frame that you're looking at. So if you are trading a five minute chart, well then look at an hourly chart to trade. If you're a day trader, look at an hourly chart to actually trade. If you're a if you're an hourly chart trader, well then look at the daily chart to 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 be doing your analysis on. Okay? Now what I like to do personally is I'm a very big day I'm a very big um day trader meaning meaning I actually trade the daily chart for my entry signals and so therefore um, it's important to look at the weekly charts to be getting a good view of what the market is doing now I'm using Apple here as an example because it's a great example of what is uh, what is going on in the market and also how to identify these levels so uh, I, I believe does uh, I, I believe it doesn't matter what market you're trading or what um, time frame you are trading it's always important to get the bigger bigger view of what's going on in the market because the bigger view is likely to uh, come into play even when you don't realize it's coming into play so let, let me give you an example here uh, most times with Apple if I go to the daily chart now there's been a lot, a lot of negativity going around with Apple at, uh, at the moment and uh, I've been I've I actually put a video out uh, somewhere around about I think it was up here somewhere, somewhere around about there, and say that Apple looks like it's going to start coming off again. And so, and there's been a lot of a lot of my mentors and a lot of other people out there being negative around Apple as well too. Okay, so yes, Apple has come off, and it has continued in this big downward pivot through here, as you can see. So, um, been very very negative, and so therefore a lot of other people are actually getting involved into this, and so therefore a lot of a lot of uh, people are now actually getting on the short side now of Apple because it's going down, going down, especially when the market gaps down like this. Um, a lot of people now get in, get in, get in, get in. You know that whole um, herd mentality, right? People wait for the market to do something, then they jump on, and that's why they generally lose money. Don't be the herd mentality. And so, the way that you you view Apple and any other stock is that is you look at the weekly chart, see where these long term boundaries, where these long term support and resistance levels are coming in. So if you go to the weekly chart, you can actually see if I squeeze this chart up as much as I can, you can actually see that there was a major low d made down the bottom here. Okay, down the bottom here in two thousand and nine before the market ran up. Um, and, uh, and and had it's just amazing run since 2009. If you look at the actual overall market itself, 
Um, we can see that just by drawing one major trend line on the weekly chart, let me take that off the screen and now zoom in a bit more so we can get a good, much better view of this. We can actually see that if I draw a trend line from here, we've actually connected up a few dots here. So we connected up one dot through there, with this this point, point through here, this point through here, this point through here. Now if, if I just draw that up right through there, we can actually see that there's many touches on this 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 uh, support line. Now remember, this is a weekly chart here, okay? This is a weekly chart here showing you what's been happening since back since 2009. And as you can see, this market had a bit of a run to the high side. Let's uh, go this one. Markets had a bit of a run to the to to the high side, and uh, and so therefore it's been going up, 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 and up. But now what's happened is the market's been been pulling back and pulling back, pulling back. A lot of people have been completely negative around Apple, and it's had a, had a nice decent pullback. You know, like. Uh, a lot of people saying, you know, um, the stock's pulling back because of their because of um, what Apple's doing right now with the, the, the release of new iPhones, and they've got to buy new accessories for the old uh, the old iPhones and the iPads and stuff, uh, iPods and stuff like that. But if you look at it, um, this market had just ran up so much far, so high up here that um, that it had it had to have a pullback, right? Because it just went so fast, so fast, and so high to the high side that it just had to pull back a little bit to have a bit of a breathing space. So it's pulled back, but look where it's pulled back to. It pulled right back to this overall this overall support line through here. As you can see, this support line through here, and it pulled, pulled right back to that, and guess what happened? The markets rejected it, and now it's actually up through here now. It came right down to this level through here and rejected it. So what you want to be doing is uh, the, the, first, uh, the first thing to be... To be a, a, getting a much better understanding of what the market is doing is pull it back to the weekly chart and start drawing some major trend lines just one trend line like this on the bottom lows and as the market is pulling back well then you know hang on a minute this the market's pulling back now it's actually getting down to a major long term long term trend line uh, remember I said before on the daily chart over, over here on the daily chart on the daily chart, remember I said before that the market is selling off and selling off and selling off. If I just delete everything here and go back to the daily chart, as you can see, this market was selling off, selling off, and selling off quite quite heavily. And so there's big get big gap down through here, and everyone's like, "Yeah, I told you Apple's going to go down," and all this sort of crap that people people go on about. And so the market did go down. It actually went down. I actually was calling for short as well too on Apple. But what happened is the market did gap down, and then I promise you that probably a lot of people, thousands of people, would have started hopping on the short bandwagon, whether it was through options or some other derivative, or um, you know maybe just even shorten the stock. And so as you can see, they came down because everyone was with the herd mentality. Everyone started to get in down here, okay. And then what happened is the market then rejected and now bouncing back up. So um, if we have a look at uh, say another chart here, this is another chart here on our on a daily chart. Um, this is just another time frame that I have. I, as you can see, I have two different time frames. One when it uh, one when it comes to a clear chart. So I'm just gonna make these together. As you can see, I have two couple of different time frames. This one here, I like to like to keep my charts nice, clean, and simple because it's the price action that's going to allow you to read the market better. But moving over now towards this chart, this one here just gives me a bit more of analysis now. So one thing I did want to show you is about what we call the herd mentality is this. Look at the look at the volume spike on this day here. Look at the volume spike. All oh, this big volume here, that means a lot of people are actually getting in or either getting out of this particular stock. In this case here, you can actually see that this volume spike through here was actually a lot of people getting in, right? Because what happened the very next day? It popped up almost 5% the day after it shot down. Okay, and on top of that, what we're also getting is we're getting our stochastics now also getting into the oversold section. Okay, and as you can see, um, that the stochastics can be a very, very good, good, good turning point. Now, this getting into the oversold section when the markets had this sort of move down, and this is at this long term weekly trend line. Um, you can see this thing, this thing bouncing up and probably even, probably even closing the gap as well, too. So that's that, that's that's a bit of um that's a bit of a tool that I use all the time when I'm trading is always look at the weekly charts first okay I'm looking at daily charts right now but if I move this thing over again 
I just wanted to show you the, the volume on, on the weekly chart. But if we go over now to the weekly chart again, bring up the weekly chart here and just squeeze it up. You can see that I haven't got, a ver there's actually nothing on my screen apart from one moving average, which is the 200 moving average. Okay, and you don't really even need that. Uh, and then all you really need is you need a white background with black bars. Okay, because if I do this, let me show you this here. If I just, let me just take, uh, move down um, the 200. I'm just going to delete everything off the screen. And now what do we have? We simply just have the chart itself, right? And that's it. That's it. We and and the and the bars are black. There's no red and green candlesticks and stuff like that. There's nothing like that. And now what this allows us to do, it allows us to analyze the price action. And the better you get at reading price action, the better trader you're, you're, you're going to be. Okay, that's just the period. And so by viewing what the price action is doing, we can start to get a good understanding. Oh, look what's happening here. We actually have a major low down here. I wonder if I connect the dots up through here. I wonder if I draw a trend line up through here, that is going to sort of, it's going to um, show me something. Oh, look, yeah, it did. Actually, there was, there, was, there was a lot of bounces through here. Then we had that through there. It's like, oh, what else do we have? Oh, we actually have them. We ha actually have Apple coming down now, uh, f for the last sort of uh, couple of months. I wonder if there's something going on through there. Draw, draw a trend line down through there. It's like, oh, look what happened. The market ran down. It hit this resistance. It hit this resistance. Came straight back down, and now look what's happening. The market actually rejected it, and now this weekly chart here, as you can see, this market actually came down, rejected it right off this line. Now came back up, and now actually showing some strength to push higher. So uh, as you can see that just by analyzing price action itself, analyzing price action itself is one of the best things that you can actually do at their period. It's not, it's not moving averages, it's not stochastics, it's not indicators, it's not voodoo, new brand new indicators that people bring out there. It's nothing like that. When you're trying to view the market and try to analyze the market, the best thing you can actually do is actually view the actual market itself, the price action. So today's tip is all about viewing the actual weekly charts, okay? Viewing weekly charts and uh, and drawing trend lines there. Now, even if you are trading, even if you are trading, say, a five-minute chart or a 30-minute chart or an hourly chart, still look at the weekly Still look at the weekly chart because you still want to get those overall big, bigger, broader view, and you want to still want to get a, a bigger understanding of what's actually going on in the market, okay? Well, this is John Howell here from TradingInvestingForYou.com. If you want to learn more information about what we do here, uh, uh, about price action reading and um, and how to how to read price action, head down to tradingvestingforyou.com and check us out there. We've got plenty of stuff over there. And also, um, if you want to get if if you want to keep up to date with us, then you can keep up to date with us with, on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash share trading mastery. Or you can check us out on our Twitter feed. And every single day, we're uploading brand new articles to keep you up to date with the major news announcements, plus also stock announcements. Um, going out there. Uh, we're uploading articles every day. Uh, and so you can check us out there on twitter.com forward slash John Trader. That's it for me, guys. This is John Howley from tradinginvesting4u.com. I'm out of here. I'll see you next time. And no matter what happens, say this yourselves every morning, every afternoon, and evening. And that is success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.